Enough is enough. We have got so much to get to this weekend, so much stupidity. I need to update you guys on what's happened in the last 24, 36 hours with Quentin the Cock. We have Lieutenant Woke Shannon Sharp once again pulling the damn race card. My inbox has been inundated all week with you guys sending me story after story of the stupidity. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys sending me all that stuff. I'm going to get to as many of them as I can. But I had to get to this story first. This was sent to me by one of my longtime viewers over Twitter. I think it was last night he sent it to me. And this story illustrates how ridiculous the woke are becoming with trigger words. Oh, these trigger words. These words make me so emotional. Let me get one thing out of the way real quick before I proceed to just thrashing PETA. PETA is actually one of the SJW causes that I can get behind. I have a soft spot for animals. I have a soft spot for anything or anyone that is defenseless. Children, uh, women, the woman that was raped on that subway in Philly last week. While dozens of passengers just sat there and watched, did nothing. I feel bad for that woman. Also, that shit would have never happened down here in the South. The police, you wouldn't need to call the police for a reported rape. You would need to call the police because that dude was on life support. PETA really does a lot of great work, though. If they could just remove the social justice bullshit, PETA would be a great cause. You don't need to promote social justice to convince people to give you money to help out animals. You just don't need to do it. Just like you wouldn't need to promote social justice to convince people to give money to help starving children. The majority of people, they will give to causes like that willingly. But when you conduct business the way PETA does, you turn away millions of people. Millions of people that would not have given you money. They wouldn't care. They would willingly give it to you. The second you promote social justice, someone like me isn't giving you a dime. As you guys know, we are in the middle of the World Series. Games three and four happen over the weekend. The series is heading to Atlanta. The irony of that, Rob Manfred moves the All-Star game from Atlanta to Denver, and now three of the biggest games in Major League Baseball will be played in Atlanta. Perhaps that is why he is suddenly defending the Atlanta Braves in the Tomahawk Chalk. But anyway, <clears throat> PETA decided to inject themselves into the World Series conversation. All for attention, of course. There was no other reason to do this other than trying to bring awareness to their cause. There are so many great ways that you can bring awareness to a cause, but being a complete dumbass is not one of them. For over 100 years, the holding area for pitchers, for lack of a better word, has been called the bullpen. Where did it originate, that term bullpen? Who the hell knows? I didn't have enough interest in the origination of the word to find out. There is this movement going on right now, around the world, but especially here in America, to change the culture, to change traditions, to change words. What I'm about to share with you, on its own, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. Because piece by piece, they are pushing to change everything about sports. Yesterday morning, PETA tweeted out the following message, quote, Bullpen refers to the area of a bull's pen where bulls are held before they're slaughtered. It's a word with specious roots, and we can do better. Switching to arm barn would be a home run for baseball fans, players, and animals, end quote. First of all, what the hell is a specious? I looked up the word. It's not real. It's not a real word. PETA just made the damn thing up. A new term for us to use for someone with a bias against animals. Let me ask you this. Can animals be specious too? You know, we really need to do something about these lions. They're specious. They are out of control, eating and killing everything in the jungle. We need to get lions into sensitivity training. Number two. Do you think bulls across America really give a shit about the term bullpen? You think Rocco the bull is crying in the meadow because he heard Joe Buck use the term bullpen? The Braves relievers heading out of the bullpen here in the top of the night. Oh no! He said bullpen. I won't be able to eat the grass for days now. My emotions runneth over. 
This is absolutely absurd. Number three, if PETA is going to push for the removal of the term bullpen, can't you at least come up with a better solution? Arm barn? Arm barn? Are we kidding? Arm barn? What the hell is an arm barn? Is that where arms are held before they're ready to be slaughtered? What the hell is wrong with these people? I thought social justice warriors excelled when it came to art and creativity. You mean to tell me arm barn is the best you could come up with? Not to mention the fact that arm barn is extremely offensive. Farmers across America protest the use of the term arm barn in Major League Baseball. You see how you can twist anything and make it offensive? Enough is enough. What about the word bullshit? Is it next on the list of words we're no longer allowed to say? Do bulls everywhere get offended when people talk about their flatulence? What about the Chicago Bears? Is that name offensive to Bears, Chicago Cubs, Chicago Bulls? Shit, Chicago hit the hat trick of offensive animal names. Detroit Tigers, Detroit Lions, Atlanta Hawks, Los Angeles Rams, Seattle Seahawks. Why don't we go ahead and rename every team in professional sports so we don't offend Marty the Moose? Rob Manfred better not back down on this. He better not even acknowledge this. I don't think he will. I mean, he did just stand up to the woke media the other night when they were hounding him about the damn Atlanta Braves tomahawk chart. But stranger things have happened recently. I mean, we just saw Quentin Descock surrender his cock. Hopefully, Rob Manfred doesn't do the same thing. Like I said, this is not the way to get people to support PETA. Most people think things like this are asinine, stupid. We have all these serious issues going on right now in America. We have a president mentally past the point of insanity. We have 1% or 2% of the population who doesn't know if the dick in their pants makes them a man or a woman. Airlines canceling hundreds of flights every day. Food prices through the roof. Gas prices through the roof. An administration raging war on blue-collar workers. You know, the people that know how to do things, fix things. When my toilet breaks, you think I give a damn if my plumber is vaccinated? No. My only concern is how much he's going to charge me. We have all this stuff going on. And PETA wants to raise awareness about Major League Baseball offending bulls. Anyway, let me know what you think about the term bullpen being so offensive to the bullshitters. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. See you guys later.